Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have GG Jibriel XD with 1,525 rating versus Ice Elgion with 805 rating, so this is going to be another DB match. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out Jib's Twitch, link down below at the very top of the description, if you want to go ahead and check out his content, and then we're going to see Ice win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoe, and Ice will decide to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Scales, Moonlit, Valor, Big Benki, Valor. So, a lot of effect negation. Then they have Dark Ruler, Rescue Ace, Airlifter, Rhoda, Rescue Ace, Monitor, and Extinguish. So, yeah, seeing Rescue Aces, I think we've only seen them on the channel like once before. But they're going to Normal Summon, Effect, try to go ahead and search out for the spell. And then, let me read exactly what the second effect does. When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, you can tribute this card from your hand or face on the field. Tribute, summon one from the hand. Okay, okay, okay. The one that summons from deck is still broken. That one's actually nice. They're going to Valor that. Like, that could actually, like... Little, like, the one that summons from deck could actually end up being used as, like, an engine in other decks. Yeah, the Impulse... Like, we saw other decks try this, like, uh, Plunder Patrol, uh, Tier Limit, stuff like that. Draw Stroll. Okay, so their hand is rather weak. Activate Big Benki, Normal Summon Scales. I mean, it is combo, but the problem is the opponent has a card that says, if you control a Rescue Ace monster, target one effect monster your opponent controls, destroy it. So, like, you know what I mean? They're going to go ahead and destroy this before they can use this effect to go search. So now we just pass. They draw monitor, then they're going to go normal summon out monitor, effect, try to go ahead and search, they're going to failure that, okay, um, yeah, shutting that down, okay, okay, then they're going to go battle phase, attack, attack, I'm not the most familiar with these rescue ace cards, um, I do know that they are getting some very nice support coming soon, they draw prodigy, so, normal summon, and then big Benki effect, go grab Soul Gaia, and then equip Soul Gaia, effect to unequip, and then use those to go into the ninja synchro, effect to scale itself, and then battle phase, attack over, because this can attack and defends. And then we're going to use this effect, pop big Benki, burn him for five, and then they're going to chain impulse to tribute and special summon out from the deck. They're going to bring out fire engine. Then Big Benki gets destroyed, burn him for 500. On summon of this, we're going to moonlit this, because this has an effect where it says, if a monster is special into your opponent's field, except during the damage step, you can summon one level 4 or lower rescue ace monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So, they're going to go ahead and shut this down, uh, so that way it can't summon anything, and then activate Prodigy to special scale Big Benki, and then Prodigy and the Scarecrow. We do have scales in grave, but the problem is... I was going to say, we don't have a Soul Piercer in rotation, but we're still able to get a decent amount out of this. Like, Scales bring out Soul Gaia. Um, what do we want to go for here? Because we could go for our own Babuska, but we decide to go into Merrymaker, into Gigantic Champion. I guess it's definitely better. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, search the Arion King and then Zeus. I forgot that we had an XYZ battle for a second, but yeah, th this, this is nice. Um, they don't summon the Therion King, they don't have anything in Graveyard. Technically, they could Zeus wipe and then do it, but that seems pretty bad. Uh, Zeus is really good against this deck, and Therion King can just be held as like a follow-up piece. They do play the Gizmec. Hold on, let me read over this. Uh, you can tribute one Machine Monster whose attack equals its own defense. Special summon from your deck one Machine Monster whose attack equals its own defense with a lower level than the tributed monster. You can banish this card from your Graveyard, add to your hand one of your banished face-down Machine Monsters, Whose attack equals its own defense. Okay. Um, that's not bad. They're going to Dark Ruler here. Yep, shutting down the Zeus and the Ninja Synchro. And then switch to attack. Normal summon out Gizmec. Effect out itself to summon Fire Hydrant. And then Rescue Ace Hydrant effect. Go grab Turbulence. And Turbulence is the broken one. The one that says set four from deck. Um, so now they're going to go ahead and activate Turbulence. Banish two. Special summon. And then activate the effect. And this has to target a face down banished. Okay, so we pretty much have the desires to get that second effect. To actually do anything. Or get hit with like a Fenrir. Which is actually kind of cool. If you get hit with Fenrir, you can like get it back. But they're going to go ahead. They're going to set Ruin or yeah, Reinforce, Rescue, Alert, and Contain. We'll go over all of these just because I know y'all don't know what most of these cards do probably. I, even I don't know what most of these cards do. But the Contain is the one. 
that says if you draw a rescue ace monster target one effect monster the opponent controls this turn that effect monster cannot attack also its effects are negated um and then if you control hydrant at the resolution of this effect that monster can also not be used as a fusion synchro xyz or link summon this turn can't be used as a material for any of that and then we have alert it says add one rescue ace monster from your grave to hand or if you control rescue ace hydrant you can add one from the deck to the hand instead and we have rescue it says target one rescue ace monster in your graveyard or if you control rescue ace hydrant you can target one monster in the opponent's graveyard instead and special summon it to your field uh quick effect like these are both quick plays um and then this is reinforced this says target one rescue ace monster you control for the rest of the turn that monster you control gains 1500 attack and defense it's also unaffected by opponent's monster effects and then next time it'll be destroyed by battle it's not and then you can banish this card from the graveyard target one rescue ace spell in your graveyard set that card you can only use this effect of ruin force or reinforce once per turn so set four kind of broken yeah they're gonna go ahead and read over those real quick and then battle phase beat over the ninja beat over the scarecrow and then we're gonna go rescue but you can't activate it right there's Hold on, I'm fairly certain that none of these say you're allowed to activate at this turn. Um, wait, 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 this one might. This one says you can activate a quick place while trap that was set by the effect of your rescue ace card the turn it was set. Yup, okay, 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 okay. So they can indeed do that. So they're going to activate, and then that's going to take the ninja, and then, you know, uh, oh wait, we can't even use it. Yeah, that's right. We can't use it till their effect because we have spells and traps in the graveyard. I was gonna say we could use it to pop Big Benki, but we're gonna go into Cerberus, Cerberus, pop Zeus, and then pass. They draw a wagon. That's a really good top deck. Um, activate Therion King, and then they're going to chain alert. So they're gonna go search impulse, special out, attach. And then, yup, they asked who they added. Yup, this is the one that attributes to go summon one from deck. And then, normal wagon, effect to switch to defense. And then, in response to the effect to switch to defense, they're gonna activate impulse. And then, in response, chain theory on king to negate. And then, wagon to switch to attack. Go grab soul piercer. And then, activate the soul piercer effect. And then, they're gonna go contain. So now, this can't be used as a link material or anything, so they can't link it off. They do have big Benki effect. We did already go through Soul Gaia. Um, yeah, we're gonna go grab Soul Peacemaker. Okay, and then up next we're gonna go Soul Peacemaker to equip. We already went through Scales. I doubt we play two. Soul Peacemaker to tribute special summon out Soul Piercer and then Soul Piercer graveyard effect. That's gonna grab Stealthy. So the opponent's last card. Doesn't really do anything, but bring out stealthy turn those into the ancient gear and then effects We're gonna search prodigy grab gearbox grab tunneler Yup, yup, yup And then after that activate prodigy and then we're gonna pendulum summon bring out three Okay, uh, and then link off go into unicorn and then we're gonna go tunneler effect Banish, put back, and then draw. So this draws us into Moonlit and Motorbike. And then go for access code, effect, plus 3k. And then they're going to go reinforce target. Okay. Um, This doesn't do anything though, right? It only says if it'd be true by battle. And then... Okay. Um, that's fine. Okay, we do only have two attributes in our graveyard to pop, though. We're gonna pop Cerberus. Wait, this isn't... Another creature control leaves the field by opponent's card effect, target one card in the field, destroy it. It... Does this protect from card effect and I'm dumb? Oh, it's unaffected by opponent's monster effects. Oh, okay, yeah, I am just dumb. Prodigy, discard, go summon scales scales effect summon back out soul piercer and then use those go into ninja soul piercer effect go search grab motorbike and then pass play they're going to use the trap card banish and then that's going to reset rescue it sets it okay i thought i added at the hand but it only sets it 
So, not quite sure why you do that when your opponent has an MST. Oh, because you can activate it. It's a quick play for Hydrant. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, never mind. They are correct. Bring out access code. Pass, draw talents. They still take 500, though. And then they're going to go Hydrant effect. Go search airlifter. Oh, and this actually stayed on field. I doubt they have much more to set from deck, but it's up to four. So, you know, even just setting like one to two cards here is still broken. Summon airlifter effect. Yeah, Jib's going to admit defeat. So, moving on to game two now. We're going to see Super Every Samurai go first. We got Wagon, Ash, Driver, Gamma, Bell. They have Airlifter, Fire Engine, Dark Ruler, Contain, and Hydrant. So, um, this can summon this from hand, and then this can summon from the deck. So, they do have a hand trap. Normal Wagon, Effect to switch to the fence. They said that's okay. And then Wagon, switch to attack, grab Soul Piercer. Activate Soul Piercer, equip, link off, go on the Scarecrow, Soul Piercer, go search, and then grab out Prodigy, activate Prodigy, Prodigy effects, summon, scale Big Benki, and then Scarecrow, discard Driver, bring out Soul Piercer. Wait, I'm confused why they did it like this. So, they didn't search Bike, and they didn't discard Gamma. Now they're going to go Big Banky, grab Soul Peacemaker, and then go into Excel. Oh, they just messed up. Yeah, simple as that. They're going to realize it right here. Yup, discard the wrong card. True, the motorbike or the gamma. Wow, that was crazy. We haven't seen that misplay in a little while. Scales, bring out Soul Piercer, go on Ancient Gear, Effects. The opponent does have Dark Ruler too, so... Might get punished because we might end up using bike later on to make Baron with this. So then we used an extra body when we didn't have to. Go in the Genius and then Pendulum. Bring out Motorbike, Gearbox, Tunneler, Genius, Go Search. And then it's going to grab the Therion King Regulus. Uh, go into the Baron now. And then summon Appalooza. We didn't really lose an extra interruption because of this though. I mean... I guess we should have had Baron, Appalooza, and then that could have been Prodigy. And then Prodigy would have been able to go ahead, discard, whatever, like the, the Driver or the Gamma, whichever. And then go ahead, summon, get more follow-up, extra interruption. Still just gets hit by Dark Ruler, though. Uh, Tunneler, go put back. And then that draws into Fenrir Moonlit. Summon out the Arion King, equip Soul Piercer, pass to draw Impulse, and then activate Dark Ruler, Soul Piercer, grab Scales, and then normal summon out Airlifter, and then they're going to go ahead and activate Fire Engine effect. So Airlifter 1 to go search, Fire Engine 2 to special summon itself out. And I said okay, so special summon, go grab Rescue H Headquarters. This says, while your opponent controls a monster, all Rescue Ace monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Rescue Ace monster in addition to your normal slash set. Um, you can only gain this effect once per turn. And then it says, once per turn, you can target four of your Rescue Ace cards that are banished and or in your graveyard. Shuffle them into your deck and then draw one. So that is able to, you know, recycle the engine, bring out Fire Hydrant as an extra normal effect. Ash Blossom that, because that's going to try to search for a Rescue Ace monster, and then they're going to turn that into Anima, Anima effect, they're going to Moonlit that, that's crazy, plays into the Anima zone, and then has to Moonlit the Anima, that just hurts to watch. Yup, and then go ahead, turn those into a Hida. They do have Ash and Graves, so they're going to go Hita Effect, try to take Ash Blossom. They do have Bell. Yeah, they're going to Bell that. I don't even know what they're trying to go for exactly. Beat over Appalooza. Uh, beat over Therion King. It's at 3,000. Then go in the Unicorn. Effect, Spin Back Baron. Field Spell to now put back all of them and then draw one. Okay. And that draws Hydrant. Can't do anything with that. So pass, draw Prodigy. This the Impulse is a hand trap. Special summon Fenrir. And then they just submit defeat. Said too much hand trap, lol. Yee. So on to the next game. 
we're gonna go ahead and we are going to see ice go first we got wagon ash moonlit motorbike arch venus centrics two starters two hand traps and a pop not bad they have rescue h headquarters monitor gamma one for one and fire engine so they're gonna activate one for one discard monitor chain ash blossom on that chain gamma that's a really good way for them to start this game off Bring out Gamma, Driver, and Hydrant all in one play. And then we're going to Moonlit the Hydrant. Activate Fire Engine on that. Summon those. So this is Chain Link 1 and the Moonlit Chain Link 2. Okay, and then Gamma, Driver into Omega. Oh, that kind of sucks. I wanted to see, like, Excel Baron. Because that would be, like, really strong there. Having a Negate instead of a Random Banish. Uh, but the Random Banish wasn't bad. Hits Wagon. Motorbike was definitely the better card to hit, but activate Rescue Ace Headquarters, and then pass turn. They draw Stealthy. They're going to go Main Phase. Got to read your stuff so I don't mess up like I did Game 1. Yeah. You're going to Normal Summon out, Arch Venus Centric, Effect, Tribute, try to pop Fire Engine. Um, yeah, I guess that's fair. You know, if your opponent's monster not target card for attacks, also your opponent cannot target card with effects. Wait. Oh, why you control another rescue ace? Okay, okay, okay. I was wondering, I was like, wait, how they moonlit last turn then? Okay, they're gonna out that. And then motorbike, grab prodigy. Okay, and now it's game. Prodigy effect, summon scale, scale effect, grab soul piercer. And then stealthy, equip soul piercer, link one, soul piercer goes search, and yeah, the opponent's going to admit defeat there. There's no way they're coming back from that, but it was nice to see Rescue Ace again. It's been a little while since we've seen him. It's been a couple weeks. Uh, yeah, it's not that great of a deck right now. In the future, it definitely has more and more potential. Being able to set up the four from deck off of one card and to get infinite interruptions off of that one play is really 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 good so you know we could end up seeing this deck become good in the future this card's also nice the hydrant this card's probably expensive i'm pretty sure this is the ultra for the deck but or one of them but we're gonna see that the match was about 33 minutes long and with all that being said the db grinders signing off peace have a nice day stay safe